The while level compatibility assumes that your target Postgres compliant database understands messages sent over the network from Postgres tools, APIs, drivers, and other frameworks. It basically means that it should be able to deserialize and serialize and execute those messages sent by the tools and their ecosystem and frameworks. The easiest way to check the wire compatibility in practice is to connect to your Postgres compliant database using PSQL2. So let's do this with every database. When it comes to Google Spanner, we are connecting to the local host because Spanner requires to run a sidecar process PG adapter if you would like to use the Postgres APIs. And this adapter connects to Spanner while PSQL will be connected to this adapter locally. Let's do this. We are connecting to Spanner. All is good. Let's execute uh, several basic commands such as there are no any relations yet. What about schemas? Yep, we have some schemas. All right, let's do the same exercise for CockroachDB. Connect it. Let's check. Yeah, we have some system level tables. And what's about schemas? We have some schemas. Aurora. Connection went well. No relations. And uh, a few schemas. YugabyDB. Connecting. No relations yet and some schemas. Right, that's the wire level compatibility in practice. So there are many more commands that have to be supported at the wire level, uh, and not every database from this list uh, implements all of those commands, but let's move on to the next compatibility level, to the syntax level compatibility. Mm -hmm.